Right then, so uh, around a year ago a customer bought this car from us and recently traded it in against a Range Rover Vogue. This is a 2007 vehicle. It's a 3.6 litre turbo diesel V8. Range Rover Sport. It's just had two previous owners. <coughs> Obviously quite a cavernous boot on these cars. Under the floor you've got driver's toolkit, jack, also a towing bar. Uh, and that's the jack, sorry. Full set of velour floor mats and a rear load cover as well. The boot is trimmed with this carbon fibre uh, wrap just on the back. Then in the back of the car, obviously the HSE, so it's got the upgraded leather, lovely and soft. Two heated seats, two vents as well. This car's got black badges as well, really do look nice. These tyres are just a year old, got an invoice for these with the dates and everything. Three way electric memory, heated seats, Harman Kardon stereo system, electric windows all round, folding door mirrors. Going into the car. You're greeted with the satellite navigation system at the top. Just let that load up. Whilst that's loading, I'll just talk you through this middle section. So you've got FM, AM radio, CD player, auxiliary input. So, very clear, very easy to operate. The idea with these cars is that you can use everything whilst wearing a thick pair of gloves. So, everything is very clear. All the buttons are nice and big. Heated seats in the front, as I just said, with two settings. Don't think we'll be needing those today. You've got dual zone air conditioning, heated front and rear screen. Automatic Tiptronic gearbox, park, reverse neutral and drive. Moving it across to the left like that is sport mode, but it also overrides the gearbox and keeps it in manual. You've got an electric parking brake operated with this button here. Coming down, you've got various off-road settings. So you've got snow capability, mud. No, <laughs> sorry. Snow, then you've got gravel, mud and rocky terrain. On top of that you can adjust the ride height with these buttons here, so you've got normal mode, access height which is easier for, say if you've got an elderly um, grandparent that struggles to get in and out of, of lower cars, of higher cars then that is ideal, and the off-road setting just gives you more ground clearance under the car. This is the hill descent control button, and these two are the settings for the gearbox, uh, if you're looking to drive up a really really steep hill then you'd put it into low range. Coming on to the steering wheel, you've got your cruise control function. This car, which I'll show you in a second, is fitted with a radar in the front, so it's actually adaptive cruise control. You can tether yourself onto the car in front, um, depending on how brave you are. Um, you can just drive along and the car will accelerate and decelerate on its own. This button here controls the voice command. These buttons are for the telephone. And then this is the volume controls for the radio. And also you can change the station or tracks on the CD with that button there. These mirrors are folding, folding door mirrors. And you've got two cup holders, as you've probably seen, and also a fridge, which is a nice feature to have. Nicely spec car. Give it a bit of a blip because it's a nice sounding engine.
coming in this is the radar just on the front as you can see this car is only 11,490 pounds if you'd like to reserve the car give us a call 500 pounds over the telephone ask for George it's 01926 267 813